hi guys welcome back to the channel my name is Nasekan. you wouldn't actually believe that this young man here killed his six months pregnant wife simply because she didn't hear him very well and didn't rush to open the gates for him when he came back well this happened in Otolo Newe, Newe North local government of Anambra state on the 2nd of March 2023 when Ikechuku Obiora came back from work and then he banged the gates <clears throat> and the wife didn't hear him initially because the distance of the gates to the house is a little bit distance then for a while he kept banging and the woman came out because the woman was six months pregnant probably she must have been tired with a pregnancy or whatever she must have been doing within the day that made her tired so when she, she came closer her name is ebere obiora married to mr ikechuk obiora so when she came closer opened the gates for the husband the first thing that came on the husband to do was to slap the six month pregnant wife he didn't just stop by slapping the six months pregnant wife he went ahead and strangled her he strangled her so hard and probably she she slumped and when he had realized that the wife was no longer breathing fear and the realization of what he had done came upon him he ran and left the woman lying down there struggling for her life so he ran to a few friends and confided in them of what had actually happened and they advised him to call his own mother now he called his own mother and told the mother everything that has actually happened to the wife but when the mom wanted to call the in-laws the mother didn't tell the in-laws the truth that their son had strangled the wife to death but the mother rather told the in-law that the wife slumped and the son was rushing the wife to the hospital so when the in-laws came over and went to the hospital where uh, a bearer bearer was the wife the six months pregnant wife was the hospital confirmed that the wife was dead on arrival exactly as they had told the husband the, ho the family and the in-laws did not believe what the doctor had said so they decided to take obiora to another hospital so they took obiora to st philip's hospital and when they got to st philip's hospital the, the doctors at st philip's hospital told the mother the father and the in-laws that she was already dead before arriving the hospital to confirm what was said at the previous hospital and uh, since obiora's family heard what the two doctors said they believed it initially but they still wanted to hear from their husband's mouth what had actually happened to their daughter the mother of Ikechuku did not tell Ikechuku exactly what he told the in-laws. So there was a miscommunication of the lie the woman had cooked up. So during interrogation by the in-laws, it was when Ikechuku could not keep up with the lies he was trying to tell because the lies didn't match what the mother had said to the family earlier. Then they discovered that he had actually strangled his wife to death. The family were so sad and they called the police as i'm talking Ikechuku had been arrested by the police but hasn't been charged with anything of such whether uh, first degree dead or murder up till now and uh, the family are making preparations to bury the wife obiora Ikechuku. so sometimes in africa we encourage people to stay in abusive relationship even if your husband is beating you up and down you need to cry for help you need to let people know this is what's happening because uh, rumors has it that that marriage was littered with abuse because a man that comes back and the first thing he goes to do is to slap the wife means he has been slapping the wife so for him to consistently strangle a six months pregnant wife means he's in the habit of abusing the wife so she like africa would say stay in your marriage it would be better if it were to be in the europeans they would have easily had walked out of the marriage but here in africa we take abuse we take uh, domestic violence for play until the wife gives up probably had it been she had complained 
or taking it to the necessary authorities beforehand this might not have happened we just pray that the soul of obiora rest in peace and my the family find the fortitude to bear this loss if you like this kind of story please do well to like my video subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that when i post a new video you'll be the first to be notified thank you